Good morning, Whitfield. I'm Layla and Jaylene. Good Good morning, morning, Anchors. Today is Monday, March 13th, 2023. Here are the important announcements for today. Today's lunch choices will be Entree 1, Personal Pizza, Entree 2, Veggie Power Pack, Entree 3, PB&J Uncrustable, Veggies of the Day, Young Infant Carrots, or Tiny Little Flowers of Broccoli. Here's today's forecast. Mostly cloudy with a slight chance of rain this afternoon and a high of 43. But feel welcome to another great Wall Street Dad today. Mr. O'Hara will be here helping out in the school and classrooms. Be sure to wave, give a fist bump, or high five and say hi to him today if you see him around the school. Thanks, Mr. O'Hara, for being our Wash Dog Dad. Today kicks off our School March Madness book bracket from our first grade classes. Be sure to read the books and place your vote. We wonder who will be the top book this year. Don't forget to register for our Dancethon fundraiser at mybooster.com. Money raised goes to our new adaptive playground equipment. If 50% of our students register online, then all students get glow sticks at the Dancethon this week on Thursday, March 16th. Students who register online can wear sunglasses to school on Wednesday, March 15th. Everyone wears near to school for our Dancethon on March 16th. Students who raise money will get a fundraising prize. Here's a video about perseverance from our dances on boosters. Did you know Zion National Park has one of the scariest hikes in the world? Of course. Why do you think they call it Angel's Landing? Wait, I thought you were afraid of heights. Oh, I'm terrified, but it doesn't mean a guy can't dream. Millions of years ago, when dinosaurs still roamed the earth, the Virgin River started wreaking havoc on southwestern Utah. Today, the canyons and cliffs it left behind form one of the most incredible places on Earth, Zion National Park. Each year, over four million visitors come to explore the park's gorgeous sandstone cliffs, narrow slot canyons, and cascading waterfalls. For over 6,000 years, small groups of Native Americans lived in the area including the Southern Paiute tribe. As early Americans began settling in the region, President William Howard Taft named the area a national monument to protect the canyon. In 1919, Congress redesignated the area as Zion National Park. The word Zion is ancient Hebrew for sanctuary or refuge. One of the things that makes Zion so unique and so unforgettable is its slot canyons. Slot canyons are slim gorges, often found in soft, layered rock. They're named for their narrow width, often squeezing down to a sliver, and the colors are dazzling. And there's no better slot canyon in the world than the Narrows, one of the most popular areas in Zion. To hike the Narrows, you have to actually walk through the Virgin River, and some of those rocks are slippery. In some places, the walls are less than 20 feet apart, yet rise more than 2,000 feet. Whether you're scaling the sheer cliffs of Angel's Landing or trudging through the Virgin River in the Narrows, it takes grit to keep going in a place like this. So what character trait does this park have to teach us? Well, what trait do you think Zion has to teach us? Always bring an extra pair of socks. (laughs) Grandpa said Zion brings something out of you. It takes grit to explore. I think Grandpa learned perseverance. Huh? Perseverance is about not giving up, even when things get tough. It's about having the grit to keep going even when you feel like quitting. Exactly. So whether it is tackling a new subject or a new sport or forming a friendship, it takes perseverance to succeed in life. The next time you feel tempted to quit something, challenge yourself to keep going. So Zion taught Grandpa how to live with perseverance. Cool. I can smell the treasure. We're getting close. I wonder what park we get to visit next. some good news on what is happening at Whitfield. In Mrs. Tonto's class, River was cleaning up a Pierce book box for them. 
Kai gave two friends his own money so they could get stencils. In Mrs. Winter's class, Nora was helping a friend on crutches. Morgan cleaned up trash in the classroom, and Sandra was being a great friend to the classmates and helped out the substitute teacher. In Miss Whitmoyer's class, Spencer gave a hug to someone who was crying. Keep on wondering where we'd be safe, be responsible, and be respectful, and be the most wonderful self here at Whitfield. Please stand and pray for the Pledge of Allegiance. Here is Sophia from Mrs. Stopper's class with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.